Hola, thank you for being here. This is Sage, Simsa Healing Tarot. And I have some messages for you, my darlings. So welcome in. I feel like these are just quick messages that I'm going to relate to you. So it's not going to be a long reading. So welcome in, Cancerians. Thank you for being here. These are going to be general tarot card messages. All of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly. Also want to say thank you so much for hitting the thumbs up button. It means so much. Thank you for sharing the messages with those you love and for being a subscriber. So consider subscribing if you are not yet. Subscribe to the channel. Cancer. So the message is, let's look at this. So I was shuffling and these came flying out. So I do feel like there are messages for you. I don't know where to start. Uh, let's begin where I'm seeing three major arcanas out of the six cards along with a high priestess making four. Major arcanas are beautiful so I feel like there are some external forces surrounding you maybe spiritually. Um, forces having to do with I hear chastity, chastity or charity, virtues with the temperance energy, patience. Those energies are floating around you so check your virtues. Seven virtues, patience, charity, kindness. Um, um, what balance? So not so modesty. <laughs> All of your virtues. So I feel like that would it, those things are floating around you now. So it's almost like choices. And then we have the hierophant, which is talking about religion, schooling, college. Did a game. It's like facing these things, facing it some way, shape, or form. However, that matters to you. However, like facing traditional things head on, I'm getting facing it, facing this head on, challenging it, challenging belief systems. So challenging the norms head on. It's like debating it. It's like taking these nor these norms to court. And challenging the 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 logic the logics of it the relevance the um the what is it how 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 well it's been working the efficiency of these norms like really challenging these people are these institutions whatever the schooling church ideas beliefs challenge it head on don't back down like i feel like debating so powerfully with this card especially with the high priest standing here along with the hierophant this is like head on battle between um spirituality and traditions even though both reflect the same kind of mystery when it comes to a presence beyond what is seen one is more in a box rules regulations we have to do this traditions rituals one is more open free space source connectivity the darkness the mysteries the unknown the, un the unseen the akashic the mysteries the magic you know so challenging belief patterns with with your intuition with your own fluid this feels like a power i'm telling you that's moving through you it's like your own essence, your intuition, your own knowing. That's your power. Let me give it to you. You know, that the, there's a movie that I watched the other day with my niece. It's with some unicorns. Is it rainbow? Something about some unicorns. But I like it. I did like it. You know, um, that, that you should, um, but anyway, the unicorns, they were singing and um it's like the the music that they sing is actually the magic that force you understand what i'm saying in cartoon and animation so the the music the magic the, the music that comes forth from them was the magic so it's like the more you express yourself and challenge uh, another powerful thing that has been in stance for so long it's almost like you're bringing light to it with your own full expression because they, they were oh my god i can't believe i'm talking to you about this but here i go two unicorns like one of the unicorns was called it the, the negative energy right so its music was powerful it, and it this unicorn she's female she was using dark magic and all of this to make her music more powerful she was even taking 
magic from um power from other unicorns or something like that to make her music more powerful it was like literally magic my niece was watching in in cartoon dark magic literally because um even the people in the audience who were kind of in a trance watching these unicorns perform and it was like oh they're so wonderful in a trance then the other kind of pure unicorns which feels like this the purity of a light that shines from you which is what i'm saying is this magic that is the challenge the debate the debate is just your oh let me continue with the story so the good pure unicorns they weren't using dark magic to win the crowd. They they just started singing. So one of this one of the unicorns, she ended up finding her strength because it was she had to perform or else the darkness would win. You know what I mean? So it was like her light had to come out in that moment through her feelings, her um her expression, it was like the eight of wands energy, cultivated energies. It was time to take action, and she found her voice in that moment, and that was the pure magic that she started to sing from her soul and it listen it defeated the dark magic like nothing it, it like the dark magic music had no space here once her music started to flow through all of that to see this is the energy in which i feel the high priestess is coming with is that energy of magic radiating just by you standing in your truth having feel like knowing what you represent it's like someone telling you, listen, this is the way it has to go. And it is so innocent as well because you're saying, no, that's not the way I know. It's not the way. And it's just you staying true to this, to your knowing, your intuition. That is going to outshine. What is this? The Hierophant. Break down these walls you know these i'm talking let me just be frank this is like rules certain ideas it's almost like five of swords energy <laughs> this one refuses it's like the the priest that refuses to be free spirited and everyone is like let your guard down priests you know there are other ways to do this thing and he's like no this is the only way to rule to govern you know but this is the priest after he's broken free to really feel like I'm getting the energy of chop wood, carry water. After a spiritual enlightenment, you still chop wood, carry water. So the priest is realizing he can be. It is this. It's still the same even after an 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 an, an, an enlightenment. You know, maybe just without all the restrictions. It's like an enlightenment that this high priestess is about to bring to this hierophant so to speak you know what i mean so that's a message for you today we also have the chariot so it feels like wonderful things coming in triumph victory archangel presence too when i feel this um like superhero vibrations getting ready for the battlefield like you know like the angels are here um and then we have the ten of pentacles so it feels like multiplication gains a lot of transformation in wealth in good feelings in money a union some some just things coming together because we have the two of cups and then we have the hierophant and the high priestess masculine feminine energies i feel like both people are learning how to become counterparts because sometimes masculines become headstrong and feminine needs to shine her light. You know, I was watching the other day, I saw a clip on social media with two people. They, they are actually in church, so they were giving a testimony of going through hard times and so on and so forth. And she was praying and she, was, she had faith in the house of the Lord, similar to this four of swords energy here. So she's married to this man and he lost his job and so on and so forth. And they ended up, their house was now on the market for sale. What could they do? It was really tough. You know, so as the woman, she started to pray and to hope. And, you know, she started going to church, having faith. Anyway, to me, that, that story stuck with me, even though I'm not particularly religious. And they were talking about religious things. It was so beautiful. It, I, I, I promised to share that video on, on my platforms. I just haven't yet. But seeing this is reminding me of that because I felt uh, such a beautiful um, 
such a beautiful union of divine masculine and feminine within those that couple honestly the way he allowed her to speak and even through tough times he allowed he allowed feminine to have her faith in a, in her own way to show him you know that she can work miracles that's what she was saying you know so he allowed her to really shine her light he wasn't forcing her to do it this way or to even start doing things in a masculine way. He allowed her to be feminine, to trust and to have faith and her own connection with God in her own way. That's how I felt. And, and that helped to heal the relationship or to heal their money situations. Because at the end he said things like both of them are testifying that things turn around so beautifully in their life. You know, they're, they don't want for money. And before they were needy, like things got very bad. And that was so touching. And he was actually shorter than her. But the way he allowed her to just be woman. And his, because she was the one that was speaking the whole time in this clip. And then in the last part, he said something like, if God, he was saying some other things. But then he said at the end, he said, um, he always feels in his heart and speaks to people that he feels that if God has stopped blessing him in this lifetime, he thanks God that at least God has blessed him with a wonderful wife. You know what I mean? That was so touching. Because he, it's like he allowed her to, he wasn't forcing his way of religion upon her. You know? So beautiful. So the Hierophant and the High Priestess, it's kind of a similar energy, masculine, feminine. And allowing each person allowing allowing space for one another to 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 be and to connect with source our God in our own way and to trust that we're each we divine in our own ways okay and that's how we have to come together you know but I do feel like it's time for feminine to shine that's what I'm saying here femininity. In this time, with all this unicorn story, that feels like the feminine is going up against what is masculine, like the traditions, the rules. Because in this time, we need love. It's undeniable. You know, we need the nurturing and the sensitivity. We need to connect to spirit, really, in our own selves. We need this divinity, I feel. Can't be one-sided. As these masculines, they want to run the church. Like, so what happened to this feminine connection and divinity to the most high? You know what I mean? It's it's relevant. So I feel like that's 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 coming into balance as feminines speak out more. And in their own feminine way. You know, that's going to really open some eyes and bring some enlightenment. Yeah. And I thank God. All right, so that's that for that. Leaving these messages here. If you found any that inspire you or is able to help you on your journey, leave a thumbs up, share, subscribe, comment. Love you so much. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this life that you desire because guess what? You are all. All is within you. Much love. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.